Hey everybody, Mark here with My Whistle and Flute, and I just had to make a video tonight because I was super excited about uh, a new model of flute that I have um, made, been down in the workshop, and come up with something that I'm pretty excited about. So, backstory. I have a customer that um, has requested some tunable flutes. Now, I, I don't really make a lot of tunable flutes, um, but uh, mostly because I, I really didn't like the... Um, the coupling that's on it and I'm working on getting the technology to not have to do that anyway but he wanted some and uh, in the process of making them I came up with uh, with some ideas and so this is the flute that I made for him he wanted a lip plate on there uh, and he wanted it tunable and um, then this is in the key of uh, F sharp but when I was doing that and playing it I thought of all the different applications of that style and model of flute and so I went down into my workshop and um, this is what I came up with. Probably the two most popular scale flutes that, that we sell on our, on our site are both major pentatonic and minor pentatonic flutes. The major pentatonic scale uh, is also called the Anasazi scale and then um, the uh, minor pentatonic is also known as the Native American scale, um, roughly. So I chose to go with a major pentatonic because I think it's a really cool scale. And I went down and now this this is in the key of uh, this is in the key of F and it is which a lot of uh, instruments already are in the key of F and it will also play in the key of uh, uh, well if it was a major scale it'd play in the key of B flat. But anyway, key of F. So it's an F major pentatonic uh, scale. And it has the uh, a lip plate up here with a 3 8 inch embouchure. And it does have uh, the coupling. And there's a reason for that, which I'll show you in just a second. I'm really excited about. And uh, then it has four holes in the top. So one, two, three, four. And it has a hole in the back, which there you go. You can kind of kind of see it there. And that's for your thumb. So five holes. Um, and uh, let me give you the uh, a basic idea of how it sounds. Now, if you know anything about, by the way, I hope you like that sound. If you know anything about pentatonic scale, it's a five note scale, which means mostly all I should have to have are four holes in the top because that would give me my, uh, my five notes of the scale. Adding the thumb hole in the back actually makes it so that either all open or all closed is the first note of the second octave. Okay, here we go. All open. All closed. Now there is a slight difference in sound that you're going to hear over the uh, speakers because of where that sound is exiting the flute, but it's the same note. The reason I like to put that fifth hole in is because that allows me to use an alternate fingering and at give one um, different note, uh, a lowering a, a note a half step, which enables you to play some really cool songs. For example, um, the Concerning Hobbits from Lord of the Rings. Now that part here, uh, the next note, da, 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 da. by holding down the top two uh, finger holes and leaving the back off, I'm able to get that step down note, which is, is the one odd note in the pentatonic scale, which allows you to play Concerning Hobbits. It allows you to play Sally Gardens. There are so many songs that are played on the major pentatonic scale. Of course, for me, the strength of the pentatonic scales is just in improvising. Now, the coupling. What about the coupling? I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. Um, what about the coupling? The coupling enables you to make this a true travel flute by being able to take it down, take it apart, and uh, stick it in a sack. So when you purchase this flute, it will come in a, in a smaller sack, and you are able to take it apart and put it put it together. Uh, it puts, it takes, it comes out and goes together very easily and that way you're not having to really, you know, on it. 
but you can just take it apart and put it together easily. That also means within so certain limitations, it's also then tunable, um, uh, at least if you need it to go a little bit uh, on, on the flatter side. So, um, but anyhow. So it's a takedown flute, travel flute. You can take it apart, put it together. That also aids in the cleaning of it. Uh, nice polished black PVC. This is solid black PVC. The other thing that I've done for the first time ever is added these black PVC caps to the end of the flute. Most of my other flutes, if you've ever purchased one or go to our site and look at it, you can see the cork at the end and it's nice and flush at the end of the flute. And, uh, and it looks okay, but I really like the finished look that this black uh, cap gives to this flute. So all in all, I just think it's a great flute. I'm gonna have the video transition here into um, just letting you hear the flute with some reverb added. Why reverb? Because for me, the most beautiful places to play flutes are places where there's a natural reverb. And since I'm in my office and I don't have natural reverb, I'm gonna add a little bit. But before I do, I'll play a few notes here on the, um, on the scale without the reverb, and then we'll transition. So if you're interested in this flute, you'll be able to find it, mywhistleandflute.etsy.com. Um, if somebody's already snapped it up, send me a message and I'll be glad to make you one. I can also make these in different keys, but this is in the key of F, and I hope you like it. Enjoy the music. Mm -hmm. 